Hi, my name is Mahad. I'm an IT specialist at Nagios, and today I'll be demonstrating how you can monitor your Windows system using Nagios XI. I'll be using the Nagios cross-platform agent, otherwise known as NCPA. NCPA acts as a bridge between Nagios and your Windows machine, giving you access to private services and attributes that would have otherwise been inaccessible. First, I'll show you how you can install and configure the NCPA agent on your Windows machine. Then, we'll go over to the Nagios XI interface so I can show you how to start your configuration. First, let's start by downloading the latest version of NCPA. You can find it at nagios.org NCPA. The link will also be in the description. We'll hit Downloads. Look for the Windows installer. Now, let's open the folder where that installer is and let's run the installation. Next to continue. After agreeing to the terms and conditions, you'll need to provide a token. Right? So, this token is essential for accessing the NCPA API, enabling Nagios XI to communicate with NCPA. You can make this token whatever you want. For this tutorial, I'll just use welcome. We can leave all this default. You can choose an SSL version. It'll default to TLS version 1 underscore 2. And then log level, warning for advanced configurations. You can look at the documentation um, to get a better understanding of the log level. And then hit next. There's also the NRDP configurations, but for this tutorial, it's just the basic overview. So we're not going to be sending any passive checks or anything. You can look at the documentation to get a better understanding of this. So we'll hit next and install. Now that we've got NCPA successfully installed on the system, Let's quickly verify our services. Let's make sure that the NCPA service is running. So the NCPA service is going to be the NCPA listener. Um, and the passive one is the passive listener, um, but we haven't set that one up. So right now we're just using the NCPA listener. Make sure that's running. And if it's running, then the installation is complete. Now, let's go over to our Nagios XI interface to start the configuration for our Windows machine. All right. So once you're on the home page, you're going to want to go to configure on the top navigation bar, and then configuration wizards. You can go to the Windows, which is second option. Then we'll use the NCPA configuration wizard. You can use the Windows desktop or the Windows server one, but essentially they are the same. So we'll just use the NCPA configuration wizard. All right, now for step one, we'll put the IP address of our machine. And for port, I kept it at default, so I'll just leave that as is. Then here, you'll provide your token. And then for system, we'll select Windows. Hit Next. And moving on here to step two, here is where you define your settings for NCPA or whatever metrics that you want to be able to monitor. As you can see, NCPA already auto-filled a lot of things. So we've got system metrics here uh, for CPU usage and user count. We've got memory metrics, main memory usage, swap usage. And here's where you can set thresholds, right? So you set the thresholds and if it exceeds that, 
you'll get a notification um, based on how you set that up. So you can see that for disk metrics, it auto-populated the disks that are on my system. So NCPA did recognize my disks as well as the network interface that's on my machine. So for services, we're gonna click here on this tab next to service name. And here's a list of all the services on my host, on my Windows machine. So whatever service that you'd like to monitor on your machine, you'd select it here. Just for the sake of this tutorial, I'll pick just a random one. Let's do NV display, just cause. So next, we can, we can pick whatever process that we'd like to monitor. You can pick whatever process you'd like just to kind of fine tune the monitoring that you want to do, depending on your use case. So I'll just pick a random one here. Then you've got the thresholds you can set. And then whatever plugins on the client that you would like NCPA to run. So I don't have any at the moment that I would like NCPA to run. So I click next. Moving on to step three, we can define basic parameters that determine how the host and service should be monitored. Should the host be monitored every five minutes, every four minutes, every 10 minutes, you can set those up, customize that how you'd like and hit finish. And as you can see, the configuration applied successfully. All right, let's go check now. All right, as you can see, the configuration was successful. Your Windows machine is now being monitored. You can see the status of each service, and you can see the list of all of our services that we defined right here. Simple, wasn't it? You're now monitoring your Windows machine using Nagios XI. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to visit our YouTube page, like and subscribe, and if you need further support, visit us at support.nagios.com. Thanks.